turning now to the spread of COVID in Australia, there's been a jump in case numbers in Canberra. Among them is the 14-year-old daughter of a senior federal politician, the Shadow Finance Minister, Katie Gallagher. And Katie Gallagher joins us now. Uh, Senator Gallagher, good morning to you. Firstly, how is young Evie? Uh, she, well, she's pretty sick, actually. Uh, so, you know, I'm pretty worried about her and she's worried about herself, but she's got a lot of the COVID symptoms and... Yeah, well, we're just taking each day by, as it comes, looking and what, after her. Yeah, <laughs> as, you, as you will. What, and what precautions are you and the rest of the family taking? Uh, so I'm her main carer. We're trying to keep my son away from her. So he's just almost 16. So I'm really worried about him because, of course, he's unvaccinated and in an ongoing exposure situation. My partner and I are vaccinated, but I'm doing most of the caring for Evie. So I'm in full face shield, mask, gloves, um, a lot of disinfectant. <laughs> you know, it's it's quite a palaver actually. And, you know, it's scary for her too to see her mum like that and at a time when, you know, she needs lots of cuddles and hugs and things like that and reassurance. It's not the most reassuring environment. Oh, I can just imagine it must be so stressful as a mum too. Yeah. It is. It is. And I mean, I'm my family's not special. We're just like every other Australian family. Um, we've been touched by COVID now. You know, I'm angry that it's come to this, um, that my children are so vulnerable because we've got such low vaccination rates. And, you know, I, I just think there's plenty of parents around Australia that have are in the same boat as I am, maybe not directly touched by COVID, but anxious and worried about what this virus means for our young people. Uh, we keep hearing and health authorities uh, tell us about Delta and its impact on younger people. Uh, we do know that 14 year olds can't be vaccinated yet, but uh, of course, the fewer people who uh, have the disease, therefore the more people are vaccinated means that people like Evie would not be infected. What, what does it say to you as to where the rollout is, given that the ACT compared to other states and territories has been doing pretty well on that front? Yes, we are doing well. And, you know, if people can get vac vaccinated, go and get vaccinated. But the supply is an issue. And even though we've got a very willing population here, um, you know, it's still only about 30 percent have been fully vaccinated. And, not, and that level is not enough. Um, we know 70 or 80 percent is where we need to be getting as soon as possible. And it's just not feasible to get there. And it, it's just I think the delays, the frustration with supply, the lack of access, has led to where we are right now. And for me, it's taken a very personal kind of turn uh, and I'm living the real life impact of that low vaccination rate. And, you know, all this stuff, it's not a race and, you know, we'll get there when we can. It's not been enough for, to protect Evie. Um, and, you know, and Evie's just like thousands of other young Australians. And I, as a parent, I just feel like we've been let down and it's... It's very stressful, Michael, very stressful. Um, it, it won't help you, and it won't help Evie at the moment, but uh, we do know that the pace of the rollout is, is increasing. The Prime Minister only yesterday tried moving to reassure Australians that come September, October, certainly the last quarter of the year when the bulk of the fires and supplies arrive, things will get better. But that doesn't stop Australia being in this, in this limbo land at the moment with vaccination levels being where, where they are. Yeah, that's right. And I guess, again, my frustration has been if we'd ordered enough supply, if we'd got the rollout running as it should have been, we did so well at the beginning of the pandemic. Everyone in Australia did so well. And now we're where we are right now. And, and my fear is it's going to get worse uh, before it gets better. And I think, again, as a parent, I just feel like young people have been left to be so vulnerable um, and that's what we've got to focus on. We've really got to get the rollout, the jabs in the arms, the supply happening and people need, you know, in government need to take it seriously because my little girl's, you know, lying in bed on her own with terrible symptoms and I can't do anything about it and my son's in the next room waiting to catch it um, and that, I know, as a parent is... It's really difficult. Yeah, listen, politics aside, we, we can hear a mother's anguish there. <laughs> Katie Gallagher, thank you so much. It's a, it's a stressful time for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat to us this morning. Thanks so much, Michael. Appreciate it.